Hey everybody, welcome to my ham shack. Check out the new stuff I've got here. I've built a, a bracket here using this extruded aluminum and these really neat uh, corner connectors. Uh, you put these things together. Um, this aluminum rail here is something I was able to just cut with an ordinary chop saw. Built this thing up and boy is it solid. I've got it set up so it holds a camera and I can slide that back and forth. I've got a few microphones hanging on it. Over here I've got some LED photo lights that light up my bench really, really well and give me a great place to work. So today, I'm glad you joined me, I'm going to build up a Nexus DRX kit for a friend who didn't want to build one himself. He asked me if I could do one for him. So we're going to do that. We're going to let you follow along as you do it. So come on over to the bench and we'll switch cameras and get started. If you'd like your own Nexus DRX kit, go to WB7FHC.com to find all the details. Okay, so I thought I'd show you basically what's gonna, what things are gonna look like when you order uh, your own Nexus DRX kit. It's gonna come in a box like this, and uh, when you open it, you're gonna find nearly everything in here that you need for this project. So we've got. Uh, sheet of instructions, which I really recommend that you follow. Uh, they'll come in real handy. I'll set these aside for now. And then uh, inside we've got bags of various parts. Here's an acrylic stand, some hardware in here, um, some components, connectors and whatnot. Here's the PCB. We've got the PCB here with more components, transistors, resistors in here. We've got that. Here's a real-time clock. Uh, that we're going to put on the board here in a little bit. We've also got um, the FeePi. You know, let me tell you about the FeePi. This is uh, something that's new and different here. Um, the FeePi is a sound card board that we've been using uh, for some time now in our Nexus boards. It works really well. We ran into a problem recently when the, the guy that manufactures the FeePi decided to retire and go out of business. Uh, he got a, a, another job that occupies too much of his time to provide the rest of us with uh, little sound card boards. And so we were really concerned about that, but we were able to contact him and he shared his files with us. So we are now producing our own FePi boards. I'll show you this later when we open it here to put it on our, our kit, but we're, we're getting these made ourselves now. So we're still in business and it's great to have the FePi here with us. We've got a little envelope in here. This has a um, stacking header in there. We'll talk about that. Um, here's a little TRRS jack that we're going to put on the board. And this is a uh, DC to DC buck converter that's going to power the entire stack for this project. And now this is new too. We are also supplying um, the cables here that we're going to need the patch cables to connect the audio board with the um, the digital controller cross patch. So we'll, those are the, the parts that, that come in the kit. In addition to all of these guys here, you will need to provide yourself with your own uh, Raspberry Pi and the cable that you use to connect things up to the radio. But all of this stuff right here will come in the kit if you choose to go with the, the, the full bundle and get everything in one box sent there so you don't have to hunt around and find your own cables and other parts separately. So... I'll clear off the bench and let's get started. I think I'll start by building up the fee pie. Um, I'll just take all the other parts here and, and put them back in the box. Uh, they'll be handy later. That's our stacking header over there, the, the brown envelope. But let's see. Um, did I throw it in here? Here it is right there. We'll build up um, the fee pie first. Now, 
the directions that I've got printed right now don't say anything about building up the fee, the fee pie, and I'll probably add those to the instructions later. But basically, what we're going to do is we're going to put this uh, stacking header right here on the fee pie. So in order to do that, but let's get the soldering station up and running here. I've got it here. Um, it's heating up. I wanted to show you this trick here. This is a a bottle of water uh, that I keep here on the bench and it allows me to wet my sponge uh, when I'm doing soldering projects so, so I can use a, a damp sponge here to um, to clean the tip on my uh, soldering iron and this is a handy handy little thing to have I think I got it off Amazon uh, as opposed to getting up and running off somewhere to a sink to uh, to get get that. I uh, splashed a little water on there but I have a cloth that's handy. I can just kind of get that over there. We'll push the soldering iron a little bit out of the way here for us there. But uh, basically oh, before I do that, you know on this thing, you, you don't stab the iron into the sponge. That's not the point of it. You just wipe it. You just give it a, give it a nice clean wipe like that to do it. And it kind of cleans up the tip pretty nice right there makes it shiny so that's a good thing we'll set that out of this set that out of the way um there's some notes in here that comes with this uh it says remove alignment guard uh before inserting from bottom of fee pie board well that's this little bar on here and it's it's there to keep these pins straight and hopefully make it easy to get it installed on here let's open this up and take out our fee pie and see what we're looking for um, here uh, just to show you I've got an original uh, fee pie right here uh, to compare the two um, notice that uh, uh, Henry's board the original fee pie here is blue and he's got colored um, audio jacks there green and pink and uh, the ones that I had created uh, they're black. My board is green instead of blue. Other than that, it's identical. And Henry's board includes this um, multi-purpose jack here, which is a microphone and uh, earphone jack that we don't ever use. So I just chose to not have it included on the on the board when I'm having these made. The pads are all there. So if for any reason you need that part on um, your board you can you can get one and solder it right there uh, it'll work just fine so uh, the plan here is to pull this uh, alignment guard off I'm trying to do it in such a way that I'm not bending any of these uh, tips if even one pin on this header is slightly uh, misaligned. Let me pull a pad in here so you can see this a little better. If even one pin is slightly misaligned, uh, it's really hard to get all 40 pins to go um, through these 40 holes. Now be sure when you do this that the header is being brought in from the bottom of the board um, in with the pins pointing up. Okay, let's see if we can do this. It's always tricky, but believe me, it, it, it can be done. Sometimes I do it in just a minute or two. I have spent as much as a half hour trying to align the pins. Look at there. Okay, now it's in. And uh, that's, that's why that alignment bar is a good thing to have. I want to show you something that I have here. Uh, a friend of mine... Uh, her name is Agnes, and uh, she likes to make things with her 3D printer. And she made these posts right here um, that she 3D printed. You see them here? They are magnets, and um, she, she set them up. And the, the purpose of these posts are when you're working on a, um, a project here. Is this going to work on this one here? Yeah, I think it might. You can put uh, your these magnets through these the, through the holes on your printed circuit board, and oh, 
it just jumped over. Um, one one post is a little bit larger. Will it go over here? Oh, you know that one. That, this is the first time I've tried it, and this one has got a little extra ridge on it. It's not going through that hole. Huh. Well, let's try another one. And there, that goes in just as easy as, as pie. Then I have a piece of metal here that I can set this down on. And those those pins are going to hold my board for me just like that. There's a bigger hole here. Maybe I could use it. That ought to work. If I get this one in. Yeah. Yeah, that works good. As long as I've got my my header uh, attached there tightly. But anyway, isn't that kind of slick? A uh, great way to hold a print circuit board while you're doing some soldering. And I just want to make sure that the board is uh, flat against the header there. And I'm going to get my solder out. And I will start soldering the header in place here. Let's do one corner up at this end. This is a little tedious trying to get into these little parts right here. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to press this board down good and tight. I'm going to swing things around and do another corner at this end. If I need to make any changes, I want to do it before I've soldered 40 pins. And now I'll just kind of take a good look at it. And I can see that everything is straight. And uh, it's right there where it belongs. I'll put it back on my post that Agnes made for me. Thank you, Agnes. And, uh, well, I'll just go ahead and solder all 40 of these pins. Uh, I'll probably speed up the camera so that uh, you don't have to wait the whole duration while I do it myself. And uh, I'll be right back with you. So, you know, seeing that smoke come up like that reminds me of... Uh, something that uh, I also wanted to share with you, something that uh, another friend of mine has done for me. You know, like a, a lot of us older hams that have been around the sun more than 70 times, we are starting to have a few health issues. And I, for one, have uh, got to worry a little bit about uh, some pulmonary disease that I'm dealing with. And it's just part of being old, I guess. But it makes me stop to think about should I be inhaling this smoke when I'm soldering and a friend of mine Art um, he was concerned about it too so he brought me this this is great this is a muffin fan he probably took it out of an old computer or something I uh, I put a plug on the end of the cord there which is um, convenient and then I've got this um, this battery pack right here this slick you can order these on uh, Amazon and uh, you can recharge the batteries and it gives you uh, several places here to plug in various connectors and I can plug this um, this guy in here I think I'll plug it into this 9 volt setting like that and then I've got a, a switch that I can flip and and uh, turn a fan on and use it to blow the smoke away uh, when I'm soldering. So I think uh, maybe I better set this up and get it running. Here, take a look. So you can see I got the fan right here. And uh, if I flip the switch on my battery pack, the, the fan starts blowing. And uh, I can set it up here. I'm going to set it to the side of my, uh, my project here so that it blows the smoke away from me and I'm not going to have to breathe it while I'm while I'm soldering. So I'll get back to this and we'll we'll finish it right up.
Okay, that takes care of the first half of the, the pins on here. Now I like to uh, uh, take a magnifying glass and uh, use it to uh, double check, uh, see what everything looks like here. Oh, the, the fan is going to blow my pad around. All of those look pretty good to me. I think I'll clean up two of them. Uh, they're probably okay. This one looks like I got a little stingy on the solder. And a little bit to it. This one has a little extra piece rub it out there, which just doesn't matter, but I like to see things look good. Now we'll turn this around, and I'll do the same thing to the other side. First pin's already done. Okay, one more quick look at the project here. And all right, I want to touch up. It looks like two or three. I just like to touch them up a little bit. Let's see, they were right in here. And right over here. These two. Okay, wait a second. One more. One more to go on this one. All right, we'll take take a look again. Yeah, I think we're gonna be good to go on that. Uh, great. Well, that was the first time I've ever used Agnes's little project here. Um, I uh, I kind of like that. We'll pull this off. And get that out of the way for now. And here's our fee pie ready to go. We'll just set this aside. Uh, we'll be using it later. There's the original, right? That's uh, there's that original. And um, here's our green fee pie ready for our Nexus DRX. Okay. Well, okay. <clears throat> that looks pretty good. Um, I'm pleased with this. I think we'll wind this video up right here, we'll call this part one of the series, and uh, you'll be able to find the other parts and look for a playlist. Uh, thank you for joining me, and uh, I hope you'll stick around for the rest of the series as we build our Nexus uh, DRX uh, digital radio cross patch. See you soon. And hey, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.